Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2003, it's a Toyota Tundra. The problem we have is that it's, it's leaking power steering fluid. So I did look at it to find out what it is and we do have to change the steering rack. So uh, let me bring you up there. I started taking the left side apart already and now I'm going to show you on the right side what you have to remove and how you're going to get the job done. So uh, come on up front and I'll, I'll show you what you're going to do. Well, hang on one second. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the, the outer tie rod end from it. So we did crack this nut loose right here. This nut is actually to hold the tie rod, the outer tie rod to the rack and pinion the, or the inner tie rod. So we just break this loose right here. We're going to take out this carter pin here, remove that nut right there, and then we're going to remove the tie rod end from the vehicle. Um, now, you could, there's tools you can use to push this out. It connects up on here and you could pop it out, but I'm going to actually do it a different way. I'll show you how I do it. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up underneath the truck itself. It's going to be a little tough to film this. We're going to disconnect up in the top right here. Now, this is all wet because I sprayed it down with penetrating oil just to try to, to get it out because it's pretty rusty. So we're going to take that bolt out right up in there, and we're also going to remove another one down inside here. I have to rotate it so you can see it. We're going to take out these two lines right here. We're going to remove them. And then we're going to take out that bolt there, that bolt there, and that bolt there. And then we should be able to get the, the rack and pinion out. Should be. So, uh, all right, uh, let's get started and see how it goes. Okay, now to take the carter pin out, sometimes it seems like a very simple thing to take the carter pin out, but when they're rusted, a little, a little more difficult. So we're just going to bend it down. And then we'll just try to straighten it out the best we can. And we just use leverage to get it to pull out. Okay, and then we'll take this nut off right here. Okay, now there's different ways you can get this out. You can come in here with a hammer and bang on the side right here and just keep banging and it'll pop right down. You have to make sure you don't miss and hit the backing plate. Okay, we we'll bang it right there. Okay, now when we take this tie right end off, we're going to count how many times we take it off because we're going to put it back on the same amount of times. So we're going to count it off. Alright, we'll put that off to the side for now. And we're just going to write a number down so we don't forget it. Okay, now we'll go underneath the bottom and uh, we'll continue down there. Okay, so now looking at it from down below, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to disconnect that 12 millimeter right up there. We're going to take that 12 millimeter out there and we're going to disconnect that 12 millimeter right there. Now we're going to take that coupling out in between the, um, the steering shaft and the rack and pinion. Now, I do have the key in the on position up there and the battery is disconnected. And the reason for that is because this has remote start that automatically starts up by itself without warning. So that's why the battery is disconnected and the key is in the on position. All right, so we're going to take out that bolt and that bolt. We're going to come in here with a very small chisel and we're going to put it into that little crack right on the side there. And we're going to expand it just a little bit just to get this off of the rack and pinion. We're going to take out these two lines right here. Um, I think they're 18 millimeter but we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're going to disconnect this bolt here, which comes right through on the other side over here. So we're going to shoot it out from here with the air gun and hold it here. We're going to take out that bolt there and that bolt there. And theoretically, it should fall right out. So 
Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out those two um, 12 millimeter bolts right there. This is, is loose now. We have the bolts out. I'm just going to set, I'm going to split this up a little bit here and we're going to, we're going to take this piece off. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to put the, uh, the key in the off position now so that the shaft doesn't rotate once we uh, have it disconnected. shaft disconnected from the top up here. Um, it will not go up any farther. So we're going to disconnect the steering rack here and we're going to remove that. But first we're going to take out those, uh, those bolts right there. Or I should say the lines. that bolt right there. Okay, so now we have this side disconnected. We're going to take out that bolt right there. That, just so you know, is 19 millimeter up there. We are going to lube that up before we put it back in. All right, now we're going to come over on the other side here. Right on this side here, we're going to take out these two. But first, we're going to take out up on top the line to held on with a 12 millimeter um, bolt that holds the lines to the rack. So we're going to disconnect that first. So now, as you can see, our lines are now disconnected from the rack and pinion. And we're going to take out those two bolts right there. We are going to use the air gun, just so you know. Pinion should be pretty much disconnected. We're going to just tie these up out of the way.
Okay, now we're just going to pull that coupling off and we should have it out. Now remember, I put the, uh, the car back into uh, to park so that the key is not going to rotate. say the steering column is not going to rotate. Right. All right, well, that's the, the rack and pinion on the ground. And as it turns out, let me show you what happened, why this thing failed. The reason that it failed is you see this. Well, I'm going to try to do this. Hang on. You see this bushing right here? This bushing actually was ripped or destroyed. And what happened is it rusted right underneath the rack and pinion here rotted right through and that's where the leak is coming from. All right, so we have our new rack and pinion already. We just have to wait to get our bushing now. So, uh, all right, let's, uh, let's get, the, get the new rack, match it up, and then we'll put it back together. Yeah, hang on one second, one second. Okay, now as you notice, they're gonna give you a, uh, a set of O-rings. Make sure you use your new O-rings. They have to go on the line, but we'll put these off to the side for now. Of course, read this here, it's critical information. Uh, meaning if you tighten up these too tight in here, you're going to strip the rack and pinion out, so make sure you read it. What we're going to do now is we're going to center the rack itself, so it's halfway to the left side, halfway to the right side in the middle, so that way when we put the steering shaft back on up here, it'll line up fairly straight. All right, now, before we do that, we're going to take off these nuts on this end here, and we're going to screw them back on over there. So, uh, all right, let's... Uh, Let's get set up, and that, that bushing right there, we actually have that coming from the paw store now, so that may hold us up a little bit, but we'll come right back when we have it in hand. Okay, while we're waiting for that bushing, we're going to put the rack up here, and we'll get it just laid in where it belongs. our steering shaft up to here, but we have to leave this loose on this side so we can put our, our bushing back on there. So get the rack back together. So now that's held in there like that. Get our steering shaft in on this side. Alright, All right, we'll get a week for that bushing and then uh, we'll come back and put it back together. Alright, we're going to do the best we can without that bushing. I just hung up the phone with the parts store and true to form, 
the parts store screwed this up again. It's going to be at least another hour. All right, so we have this bolt here caught. We're going to put this bolt through as well. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to tighten anything up until we get it all, um, until we get everything put back here. But we're going to catch everything just loosely for now so I can put the lines back in, put the tie rods on, leave the rack loose so I can slide that bushing on. And uh, all right, next thing we're going to do now is we're going to get the, uh, the lines back into the location where they belong. We're going to take off those O-rings. Okay, we're going to put our, our new O-rings back on. Be careful you don't lose them. going to catch the lines. Remember, you screw it in by hand. You do not want to cross-thread these lines because you'll be changing lines. Just caught loosely now, and now we're going to put that, that other bolt in the uh, in this side of the rack that actually holds the lines in place. We're going to do that before we tighten anything else up. Remember that was a uh, that that bolt up in there was a 12 millimeter, so that's what we're going to put back in there. That 12 millimeter. Alright, now once we have that line caught, now we can tighten these up all the way. Okay, so now our lines are connected, our lines are tightened up over here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to screw our tie rod ends back on, and then we'll get, the, uh, we'll get those uh, tie rod ends back onto the wheel itself. We're going to actually come up top. You know what? Let me show you real quick. Right up here. You see where that coupling is right there? That coupling is actually rusted pretty tightly on there. I'm going to go up top and I'm going to tap that down so I can get it to line up down over here on the rack and pinion and then we'll, we'll put those two bolts in through there. So uh, let me uh, get these tie rod ends on and we'll continue. Okay. Now remember, we took this off, it was 16 revolutions, so that's the way we're going to do it, 16 turns on. Okay, that's 16. Now we're going to bring this around. Put it through there. Just like that. 
batch. Take our nut, put the nut back on. Now we're going to line up that carter pin so we can put the carter pin. Tighten up this nut right here. Now this is going to get the wheel alignment done on it, just so you know, but for now we're just going to snug this up. And then we'll come back to that once we do the alignment. Alright, we're going to go to the other side now. We're going to do the same procedure on the other side, and then we'll come right back. Okay. Now what I did is up on top right here, I just got on the steering coupling right there and just tapped it down with the uh, with this pry bar and tapped it down until the bolts down there lined up and you can see one bolt there and the other one down on the bottom so we're going to lift it up now and we're going to tighten them up now I want to point this out to you make sure that your battery is disconnected you don't want to have any problems all right let's go back underneath and continue So now our steering shaft is actually tightened up. Tie rod ends are on. We can't do anything here or here until we get that bushing back in. So, uh, all right, let me get the bushing and uh, we'll put it back together now. Okay, now we got a new bushing. We're going to put it back on and we'll put this whole thing together and finish it off. These are a split bushing, as you know.
last, we're going to tighten up that bolt right up on top right there. That's at 19 millimeter to remember. Okay. All right, so let's go over everything we did down here. And then we'll go up top and finish it off. Okay. We put our coupling back together. We tightened up those two 12 millimeter bolts. We tightened up the rack here, here, and these two right here. We are gonna come back underneath here and torque these down with a torque wrench. We tightened up the brake, I mean the, uh, the lines back up here with that 12 millimeter bolt. We tightened up both of the feed line and the return line. We tightened them up, put our new O-rings on. We installed the tie rod end, put it back on with the carter pin through the castle nut and we tightened up this lock nut here. And we did the exact same thing on the other side there. And that's it, we're ready to lower this down now and put some power steering fluid in. Okay, now that we're all set, we're gonna reconnect our cable. And this has an alarm on it, so it could ring off. But it didn't. Next thing we're going to do is let's put some power steering fluid in. I don't know if you can see it, it's down inside here. And again, I guess you guys know how to put power steering fluid in. We're going to fill it up to the maximum. I'm going to go inside now. I'm going to start it up. Um, as you know, that power steering fluid is going to suck down because uh, the rack is fairly empty. Uh, and then we're going to need to fill it up. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the wheel left to right. We're going to make sure there's no leaks underneath there. And then we're going to let it run for a little bit. So let's. Okay, so. All right, it's going to make a little bit of noise. That's the fluid going through. So let's start it up and uh, make sure we have no leaks. You basically just turn the wheel left to right, uh, back and forth to each stop over and over and over, and it'll clear out most of the air out of it. Uh, you may need to add some in a few days because you'll get that residual air that's still inside there that you, that'll work its way out, so you'll have to check it in a few days to make sure it's okay. But once you fill it up, you should be in, in good shape. All right, we're going to put the wheels on it. We're going to road test to make sure it's okay. We are going to get the alignment reset. Very important. You have to get the alignment reset. And uh, that's it. You should be all done. All right, as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.